So give me just a second here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that we can talk a little bit about um, what computer science looks like here at, at CU Boulder. All right, can we see that now? Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's see here. All right, so like I said, my name is Lindsay Morford. I'm one of the academic advisors here, and I'm gonna let our associate co-chair of undergrad education introduce herself. Hi, I'm Joanna Fleming. I'm a professor in computer science, and I'm one of the associate chairs for undergraduate education. We are so excited that um, you are interested in computer science uh, here at CU Boulder. And I want to share with you one of the first thing I talk to my students in the introductory programming course. Uh, everybody asks, what is computer science? So, you know, are we trying to figure out computers? Well, it turns out computers are pretty well um, understood. Uh, but anything that has to do with the box and the components, that is actually part of the um, electrical and computer engineering department. What we hear in computer science study it's basically programs. So what is um, what drives our computers? So here at CU, you will learn to write your first programs, um, and then you will go on to program uh, robots, um, design algorithms, um, maybe tackle a big amount of data, and figure out something for you know the benefit of your small town or the whole world, you will be very aware of security issues. You will learn to design apps for, you know, maybe your mobile phone and figure out how to make your programs interact with, with users. So this is all inside your computer science degree. Um, like I said, it is exciting. It is an excellent time to study computer science. It's been for a while and, you know, kind of lucky for us, it continues to be. Uh, there is continuous uh, job growth. I'm pretty sure your parents told you that, you know, going to computer science because, you know, you have a good, good chance of getting a job, but it's not just a job. It's, it's fun jobs that we all like to do and, and impactful jobs. And one of the things with computer science now is that everything is so interdisciplinary. So basically, um, a lot of other fields, you know, are asking now for computer science skills. So there are uh, opportunities, not just in how to say pure software computer science companies, but a lot of other companies that are looking for uh, specialists, machine learning specialists, artificial intelligence specialists. So it's a really exciting time. And um, here at, at CU Boulder, we are really proud of the community we bring together. Uh, Lindsay will tell you about how many students are taking computer science courses, majors and minors from all sorts of different departments around the, around the college and around the university. We have a strong uh, alumni network. Uh, we have two different bachelor degree options and some focus more on um, technology and engineering. Some are more applied, like I said, more uh, on the idea of the interdis interdisciplinary and, and other fields. Uh, we pride ourselves in offering really quality education because this is a very competitive field and we want you to start right and learn the right skills from the very beginning, strong technical skills. And we really, really love our um, practical senior design capstone project, which you will hear about more in a second, but I think that's what makes our um, computer science at CU really special. Yeah, so just a little bit more about computer science at CU Boulder. So like uh, Iwana was mentioning, we have a minor, we have a BA, a BS, we have a BSMS program, which is where students can um, do an accelerated master's um, and that starts while they're while they're still in their bachelor's degree and then we have a couple of different graduate programs. Um, computer science here at CU Boulder is the second largest major on campus with um, 1700 plus undergrad majors. I think that that number continues to grow. Um, we also have a very very popular minor 350 plus students who are pursuing a computer science minor to apply in areas such as aerospace engineering, 
um, economics, um, technology, arts and media, and some other things. We have a large, uh, large and involved graduate student population, um, a number of faculty members who are specializing in a lot of different areas of computer science. Um, and we have some wonderful alumni that, that we are continually developing programs for to allow our current students in the department to connect um, with those alumni. Um, the computer science program um, at CU, as far as the courses go, we have a number of courses that we require students to take um, that every computer science major should know. And so um, we talk about both the hardware and the software, although primarily, like Iwana was saying, um, we're looking at um, software, human computer interactions, and things like that. Um, and then we also were working on, we actually have a departmental action team who's currently working on um, brainstorming new ways to um, communicate information to students in a way that allows you to really enjoy learning. And so we're working um, constantly to make our to make our program even better. We're constantly um, evaluating it based on what skills our employers say that students need to have. Um, that's something that's really important to us. We want to make sure that you are prepared to go out in industry and make a significant contribution or into higher ed. We do have students also that will go into into research and some things like that. Um, the Bachelor of Science um, is ABET accredited. Um, typically, the difference between the Bachelor of Science and the Bachelor of Arts is that um, the Bachelor of Science students take more computer science coursework. And so um, for a Bachelor of Science, you're focusing more on math, um, on the math and science pieces. Uh, bachelor of Science students are required to take 58 credit hours of computer science. Um, like Oana was mentioning, however, there are a lot of industries outside of tech that are looking for ways to um, incorporate computer science in their fields. And so I'm going to let Eva Lacey talk for a minute about the Bachelor of Arts, which is our other um, degree option that's extremely popular. Hi everyone, my name is Eva Lacey. I'm one of the advisors for the BA in computer science. And as Lindsay mentioned, the BA was created to be an opportunity for students to get a really solid computer science education, but also combine that with um, another field of study, whether it's something that you see as combining with computer science to create a novel degree path, I mean, or a novel, novel career path, or it's something that you can combine computer science with and have enough time outside of that major to explore your passions. Um, so part of the rec uh, requirements of the BA that is w housed in the College of Engineering, it does require an additional area of study that students declare. It can be a minor, it can be a certificate, it can be what we call a dual degree, um, which in engineering means two majors. Mm -hmm. um, there is, um, Lindsay mentioned there are 58 hours of computer science computing coursework. The two um, curricula are almost identical, except for the fact that the BA computer science goes through 40, oh, up to 45 hours. Um, and then they, you also explore that breadth and depth of, um, in some ways, liberal arts education by doing what we call a general education curriculum to get a little bit more breadth and depth in arts and humanities, social sciences, um, and again, to help you explore potentially um, a novel combination with computer science. Um, one great thing about, you know, the things that aren't different between the BS and the BA is there's one computer science department. So we are talking about students all are in the same classes, taught by the same faculty, taught Everyone has the same access to departmental resources and opportunities and college-wide resources and opportunities. Yeah. One example of what we're talking about with um, kind of diversifying at our uh, computer science um, specific career fair, um, a couple of the companies, so for example, Nordstrom was there looking for um, interns. And we, we usually think of Nordstrom as being like clothing or retail, but they're looking for computer science majors um, to to intern with their company. So that's that's an example of how computer science affects lots of different fields, not simply the technology sector. 
Um, we do have, so since computer science is such a broad field, we do have, um, we don't require students, and I, I do want to clarify this, we do not require students to choose a plan of study um, as far as like a focus area in computer science. However, we do want to make sure we do have lists of classes that fall under specific categories um, because many students have a specific area that they're mostly interested in. So for example, um, a lot of students who are interested in the systems level, um, the lower level programming, are probably not going to be as interested in focusing on the higher level human-centered human computing um, user interaction pieces. And so um, computational biology, how students, how, how um, we can use uh, computation to model different, for example, um, disease ep epidemics or um, some things like that. We also, robotics, artificial intelligence, um, machine learning, um, computer security, cybersecurity, all of those kinds of things. Um, we have specific classes that students can take if they're interested in those specific, specific fields. And so um, we'll have an opportunity for questions at the end. If you have questions about a specific area, we'd, let, we'd be more than happy to answer those for you. Finally, um, we do have a capstone opportunity that students will complete as part of the um, BS in computer science. And so I like to tell students it's very similar to a, um, a built-in internship because um, with our software, we've got three different options, um, but the one that a lot of students choose to do is a software project option. We have industry sponsors. It could be anyone from Visa, NASA. There's a local robotics company, um, someone on campus who wants an app developed. Um, all of these partners sponsor projects and then students work as a team um, to create, do the coding, work with the sponsor to plan, different things like that um, throughout their senior year. For students who are interested in starting their own business, we also have an entrepreneurial option where students can work with um, industry professionals who have actually experience um, with entrepreneurship and they can learn what it looks like to pitch your idea to investors, um, figure out if you have a marketable product, different things like that. Um, and so students will work again on a team to try to get a head start in developing their company so that when they graduate, um, they have all of those pieces kind of put in place. And finally, for students who are interested in going on to get their PhD, we have, we have um, opportunities to do research, their so senior thesis. We have a lot of wonderful faculty who will work with students on some of those, some of those things. I have students um, doing senior thesis projects right now in robotics, computational biology, um, and programming languages. And so there's some really neat opportunities there as well. And I'm gonna let Awana talk about the, um, the community here at CU and especially in computer science. Um, yes, yeah, so besides the coursework, which um, can be very exciting, as, as Lindsay told us, um, there's a lot of things you can do outside of classroom. Um, you know, students get together uh, either from the same major or from different majors and they kind of follow their passions. You know, there's uh, robotics clubs, there's um, women in computing, society for women engineers. Um, all of these clubs meet, you know, once a week, once a month, they, they put on events, they, they try to, to get you to basically have, well, I guess a social life, but that it's still connected with your um, passions for, for computing. Um, there are hackathons. Um, I know there's a women hackathon once a semester, but there are other hackathons too. If you don't know what hackathons are, I don't, it's not like a secret, but I'd like you to come and experience one. Um, sometimes uh, companies come and have a problem that they need solved, but they're basically this like big big events where everybody comes and tries to kind of solve a problem or multiple problems, but you can come with your buddies and your friends and uh, it can last all weekend and there'll be uh, pizza and your best friends there to solve problems with and um, companies there that are looking to, to hire people. And a lot of my students get their first internship at, at hackathons. Uh, Lindsay mentioned cybersecurity. There's a cybersecurity club. There's a data science team. Again, people trying to, you know, get together outside of classrooms and do some things following the little specific things they are interested in. Um, besides computer science, if you have a passion for computing, but 
maybe you don't know exactly for sure what will excite you once you get here. There are other paths. Um, so for example, we talked about if you're interested more in the hardware and how can you make our computers better, then maybe your place is in the electrical and computer engineering for those tinkerers who take your phones apart and your old grandpa's radios, that's the electrical and computer engineering major, right? Um, we have a lot of students who sometimes start in computer science, but they end up migrating to a TAM, technology arts and media major or information science or data science. So think about technology arts and media as people who are more interested in visualizing data in how do we create better apps that offer like better user experience or better websites or anything that has to do with merging art concepts and engineering concepts and focus more on like the user experience. We have information science that is in a way still using data but is focused on more solving societal problems. Data science is our, for those people interested in numbers and math and they still solve world problems but they're more focused on statistics and you know you hear the big buzzwords big data that's where they go for data science and statistics like all of these you don't have to necessarily transition for computer science you can add them as a minor too so you can have a computer science major and a minor in TAM but just please know that because as Lindsay was saying the field is so broad and we are all different individuals that you can find something that fits your interests and your passions um, at CU within the computer science department and within other departments where you kind of would be able to create, as Eva was saying, your novel personalized um, career path. Um, if you are interested in, um, you know, working for the computer science department, one of the opportunities I'm most fond about is being a course assistant. So, um, I teach, among other things, the, the intro computer science classes. And I love having students who took my class come back the following semester and become the ones that help other students. So, you know, if you find yourself being the student awake at midnight, loving to answer your friend's questions, right? Then this is the opportunity for you. It's a really, really good opportunity because it keeps you um, prepared to answer those questions for job interviews later as you graduate, uh, as you move on in, in your career. Um, you can do research, as Lindsay was saying, there is the thesis at the end, but you can start doing research with one of our amazing faculty even after your first year at CU. Um, and of course, outside of CU, uh, whether in the Boulder area or just all over the country and the world, there's a lot of opportunities for internships and employment. Uh, a couple of years ago, we started just our own computer science career fair. So there is a career fair where companies interested in computer science jobs come and advertise. Uh, everybody from campus is invited, but for sure, if you are a computer science major, you have kind of a leg up there to, to get those internships. There, there's long lines of students and lots of employers, local and non-local, you know, Nordstrom's, but, you know, Uber and uh, United and a lot of the space companies, aerospace companies that are in Colorado hire a lot of our computer science majors. So um, Google, of course, and Oracle and Ball Aerospace and Northrop Grumman. So it, there's too many for me to mention all of them right now, but uh, this probably ties in with what I was mentioning at the very beginning. It's an exciting time to start a career in computer science and there are a lot of opportunities. So that's the end of our presentation. Um, we want, we did want to give you our, we have a few minutes for questions here, but I did also want to give you the contact information for both myself and Ioana. Um, if you have questions about the BA, feel free to contact me and I'll forward that to, to Eva. Um, but this is our contact information if we can't get through, because I think we probably won't be able to get through all the questions you have in um, the time that we have. But feel free to reach out to us and we're more than happy to, um, to assist you.